God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, Father. Mm. Glory to God. Yes. Praise God. Yes, Father, we yield this life to you, Lord. Have your way, Father. Yes, Lord, let your truth bring forth, Father. Yes, Lord, break through for your people in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you, Father, that you are the God of the miracles, Father, the God of mm, all heaven and earth, Father. And the things that you have proclaimed and declared for your people, Father, shall be established in the earth. And we just thank you today, Father, for all those, Lord, who have lifted up their hope in you, lifted up their faith in you to believe what you have spoken over their lives, Father, that there is a manifestation, Father, that there will be a reckoning, that there will be a manifestation of the things that they have been believing you for, Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we give you praise, glory, and honor. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord, have your way. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Amen. Blessings, everyone. Suddenly. Amen. I, I, you know, I wanted to um, just come on here real quick. You know, I got some encouragement for somebody this morning. Let me tell you something. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> man, you know, the faithfulness of God you know, the faithfulness of the Lord is, uh, is, uh, oh man, I don't even know if there's really words to describe it. The faithfulness of the Lord is so, uh, it's so amazing. You know, um, last week we gave a word, uh, that it's here. Amen. And I wanted to come and share this testimony of, what God did, you know, hey, blessings, blessings, sis. So on Friday, you know, the word was released. It is here. I don't know for all, for those of you who uh, um, got a chance to catch the word, you know, but you talking about a life changing word. So when the Lord, when that word came through, it is here. And <laughs> oh, man. when that word came through that it was here, you know, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, which probably none of you do, because, you know, me and my wife don't talk about things, you know, um, that we believe in God for. Amen. We've learned to, you know, to keep quiet, you know, while we're believing. Amen. Um, but, you know, uh, without going too much into detail about it, you know, I'm going to give a full testimony about it later. But, um, yeah, I'm not in the car today, you know, uh, and that's a, I'm not in the car today, Bobby. You know, we're in actually in our own home we're in a, we're in a place you know we're, we're we're staying in our own place now we don't own it amen <laughs> but you know um you know for uh for a couple of years um my wife and I we were um in our and our children we were staying with, with with family you know we were staying with family um and we went there initially to try to save up to you know to uh, you know to buy a home you know but then we got there and it was just it was just uh the greatest uh some of the greatest spiritual warfare you know um um some of the some of the, a, a very deep battle you know a lot of uh uh thank you a lot of uh a lot of uh spiritual warfare right you know a lot of spiritual warfare you're talking about people who were um you know who you know, there's a difference. I said this before. There's a difference between people who believe God and people who follow God. Amen. People who, uh, 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 you know, say, okay, they acknowledge that God is, but they don't have his heart. Amen. And operating in, in, uh, uh, witchcraft and, you know, manipulation and, and just all work and all kind of other stuff. And, and the, one of the most difficult things about that is, is as a man of God, it's important for you to be, have to be able to own your atmosphere. Glory to God. You see, when you when you go into a place, you got to be able to own your atmosphere. And so in that place, not being able to own that atmosphere, I was constantly contending with whoever, mm, with the man of the house's uh, mm, uh, disposition, because I can rebuke. But it, hey, sis, I can rebuke something. But if somebody if the if the person who owns the house keep letting it in, amen, then then it becomes a constant. It becomes a constant a constant battle, amen. It becomes a constant battle. Why? Because my peace now has to return unto me. And so, and so it was a challenge, you know, it was, it was just challenging in that area, but you know, in that, in that, you know, being able to grow, being able to learning how to, uh, 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 uh love in the process. There was so many things working during that time frame, you know, and, 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 and really, uh, 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 
for me, what was the most important thing is, is that the conclusion that I came to was you can't take my greatest asset. You can't take my greatest asset. And that is the joy of the Lord. You see, you can, I cannot, as long as God is with me, I cannot be diminished. <laughs> <laughs> you see, and so, and so, and so, you know, uh, uh, sometimes, you know, and so my focus, a hey, blessing. So my focus wasn't necessarily on the thing, even though it was difficult hearing, you know, uh, my daughter come say, Hey daddy, when we going to move, you know, and it was, and it was, and it was crazy because you go, you, you know, you're, 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 uh, uh, you're laying your life out on a line and you're going to work and you're, you know, you're doing what the Lord asked you to do is with regard to ministry. And, 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 and it was seeming like, you know, there was one thing after another, as soon as we get enough money, then we had to go do this. Then it was something else over here. Then it was like, we couldn't get a chance to just kind of, you know, and then the Lord began to move and change that around. Amen. He began to move and he began to change that around. And, and, um, um, but you know, when you, when you, when you are going through it, when you are going through it, knowing, regardless of what it looks like, knowing what God said and knowing that, that, that knowing that God is faithful. Amen. And, 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 and obviously we were, we were there. We were like, okay, Lord, what's the purpose of us being here? You know, there was a lot of things that the Lord was revealing through that time frame. you know, but, uh, you know, he planted us as a blessing. Amen. He planted us as a blessing, you know, because sometimes God will bring you into contact with the things that, with the very thing that will spark your next season. Amen. Wow. This is a word for somebody. Sometimes God will bring you into contact. That's why you always got to be mindful how you treat people. Amen. Because sometimes God will bring you into contact with the people who will, who will, mm, 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 who will, who will establish your next blessing. Sometimes he will plant the blessing in a person in your life and, and how you treat them will determine your next season. Sometimes God will. Mm, so it's very important that you don't get too casual with people, that you don't get too high and mighty with people that you don't get to above people, that you always stay humble and, and walk in love, you, amen, and walk in love because sometimes, sometimes God will put your very blessing, God will sow your blessing in the form of a person and how you treat that person will determine your next season, amen? And see, they didn't know that we was being planted as the blessing. That, that it was, mm, that he was observing how they dealt with the blessing. You know, but, you know, and so as, as children of God, sometimes, 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 sometimes we have to be willing to endure that suffering. Amen. And, and I know people, you know, they don't want to, you know, they, you know, we don't want to, and I don't want to get too far off on that because that's really not what this is about. But I, I wanted to bring some, some kind of order to things. Amen. And, 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 and what I'm saying is, is this, is that the Lord came through the whole time, the whole time we had in our minds, okay, look, we are willing to go to this place. It was a far off place. It was like, you know, two hours away from my job. And it was, you know, it was like, you know, but I'm willing to go there just to get out of this place. Amen. You know, but the Lord and we, you know, and, and but the Lord, the Lord didn't want us there. Amen. And, but you know what? He wasn't saying something. And I got to say this for somebody. Oh, glory to God. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, there is somebody, there is somebody. God has already given you the territory. God has already given you the space. Amen. God has already given you the space and he's already given you the territory. But what's been happening is you've been looking for God to speak. And, God, and, and what God is doing is he said his peace is going to speak. So you've been looking at a place that, you, that you've that you been saying, okay, this is what I feel like I want, that will be okay for me. This is what I would like. But you got to be willing to, you got to be willing to expand your gaze. You got to be willing to expand your gaze. And you see, you, 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 there's somebody who's been limiting God in, 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 in their sight and in, in, in the way that they look and what, the, and what they've been seeing. And they've been waiting for God to speak. But see, in this transition, there's going to be some of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, but, there's, but there's some of you, you've been waiting for God to speak. But the reality of it is, is, is God's going to lead you by your, your, his peace. And what he was showing me is before I got on this live, is that there was somebody who the Lord is saying this. When God has already given you the land, amen, when God has already given you the territory, when he's already giving, 
When all the land belongs to you, you just got to go out. You see, the problem that there's a couple of people, the problem that you're having is, is that uh, 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 you're saying where is God? The problem, and the problem is, is not where God is, it's where your gaze is. You see, mm, what, what he has for you is better than what you're looking for. What he has for you is better than what you, mm, it's better, what he has for you is better. So you're looking on something less and God is saying no to that. He is saying no to that and you're looking for him to speak in a different way, but God says he's changing his sound, he's changing, he's changing his communication and, and, and so what I have, and I'm just giving you this example, it was really, really impressed on me to come on here and share this, but I wanted to give some background, but this is what it was about. When the, when the word came, when the word came, it's here. We moved, amen. We moved and we went to a different place. We, we moved and we got up and we went to a different place. I was at work and my wife called me. She said, baby, you know what? I'm just going to start looking here. I'm just going to start looking. Now, this was a place that was kind of, it was, it was never on our map is what I'm saying. It was never on the map. But when it came up, we said, you know what? Let's go. You see, because sometimes you got, and, and, and for us, we didn't have nothing to lose. If God is here, if it is time, we got up and we moved. We got up and we just went for it. And we came to this place, you know, it's a great place, you know. Um, you know, because we were looking at ownership. We were like, okay, you know, it's just time for us to own a land, you know, so we never even considered it. And we were looking at places, you know, maybe that were more conveniently located towards uh, uh, where I work and all that stuff. And there was no peace there, amen. And, you know, and there was no peace there. And 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 when we tried to call, doors were slammed. Boom. I'm like, man, you know, you know, doors were just shut, you know, as far as to get in the house, you know, and we was like, well, this is the only one we could afford. It wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't the kind of space that we, but it was like, like a, you know, violent area, you know, and, but we was willing to go there. You know, we was willing to go there just to be able to own an atmosphere, just, just to, just so that my, 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 just so that my peace could be able to rest on a situation and I can cultivate the presence of God in the atmosphere so that God can be the ruler and the, and the covering of my dwelling place. You guys, let me tell you something. This is so significant for God to be the ruler and the covering of your dwelling place for any man of God. It is essential to be in a place where your to be in a place where your peace cannot rest upon it where mm, where God can where God does not have the final authority in the dwelling place mm, mm, where you wake up to demons and you rebuking devils to the mm, 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 I don't know. <laughs> it's it, it's essential you see because what that does is it, it, it it's constantly wearing on your anointing mm. Mm. Oh. But anyway, but anyway, but anyway, but anyway, what I'm saying is, is this, what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is, is this, but through that, through that all, the, the, the Lord, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And it was, it was in, and it was in that point that I realized that there is nothing you can do devil to diminish me. There is nothing that the enemy can do to diminish me. You see, and when somebody had once asked me, they said, brother, what have you given up to follow the Lord? And it was funny. It was like, what have I, everything, brother, everything, right? Because, you know, and it was based upon something about, you know, talking about them, about loving and, you know, and it was like, you know, well, you know, what have you given up? <laughs> everything, everything. But the flip side, the reward, and I just want to say this. I don't want to get too far off on that because I know I'm, I'm here to, the Lord wants, it has a word for somebody. But I would, really wanted to set the background and let you know that, you know, even throughout this whole time, you know, the, the every word that we brought, every word that we brought forth came through fighting, came through every word that we brought forth. It came through uh, the difficulties. It came through spiritual warfare. It came, it was brought forth. It was brought forth, you know, uh, uh, mm, it was brought forth. It was cultivated in the cauldron, in the fire. It was cultivated in the fire, brought preciously so that you could see the faithfulness of God. And in, in, in the whole time, in the whole time, everything that we were saying to you, we were believing as well. Unshakable faith, not considering my situation, not considering what it looked like, but just knowing that God, that God was faithful who spoke, putting everything, putting everything not on my feelings, not what it looked like, but on the power and the might of of the word of God. Amen. The power and the might of the word of God and his faithfulness. Amen. So, so, uh, 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 so anyway, so this is what it comes down to. <laughs> I said all that to say this, right? That it was suddenly 
and it was better than we could expect, than we had expected. Amen. While it wasn't ownership, that's what we was in our, our forecast, you know, that was in our gaze. It was ownership. But the place that we were looking to be owners was a place, was a, the place that we were looking to be owners was, was not a good space. Amen. It, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't a good space. It was, it was, it was, a. Uh, uh, thank you. It was it was a space that we would have just accepted like, Lord, we'll just take it, you know, because we don't fear no evil. We don't fear no devils. We will go. We will go where the Lord says, because the Lord is with us. So we don't fear. It. But it wasn't. But see, the Lord says, but I had something better. <laughs> and so what happened was, is this on Friday, the word sent the word and said it is here on Friday. The Lord sent the word and said it's here. The word came on Saturday. We went out. And as soon as we got there, favor was there. We saw it. And we was like, oh, we like this place. And we had some other places lined up, you know, because we were going to be diligent. But it was amazing how as soon as we got here and came to this first place, right, that the Lord shut every other place down. <laughs> He took them off. The, the places went offline. People weren't answering the phone. We came here and we liked the place and we were like, you know, and we filled out the what's the name and it was like, oh, this all these lofty requirements to be here and you got to have all this stuff. And I was like, well, you know what? We just going to fill it out. We just going to move. The Lord said, and I've said this, the Lord said it's here. So we just moving, right? You know, fill that thing out. And it was like, you know, it takes about 24 hours or, you know, could take longer to get you approved. Man, we filled that thing out. Ten minutes later, man, they called and said, okay, congratulations. And in six days, <laughs> in six days, we went from being virtually homeless to having a place of our own. So from Friday, from Friday, from Friday getting to work, Saturday going out to next Friday moving in to our new place. And you're talking about we've been on the, the scramble. We've been on the on the move. And so, you know, right, you know, it, it, it the transition was so it, it it just happened. It was done. And and what I what I love about the Lord is prior to this, prior to it, he had been telling us for months, prepare, right? Prepare for it. Pack your bags. Get ready. Pack. Pack. And so we packed by faith. We bought furniture by faith. Think about, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something how me and radical me and my wife are. We don't play when it comes to the Lord. You know, we packed our we packed our bags months ago. We bought furniture months ago and let it and it was just sitting. It, it was just sitting inside the the, uh, the places where we bought it. You know, and they have they have requirements. They say, look, so if you don't if you don't get this 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 furniture out in 90 days, then you you lose your money. And, you know, right. They have all these different things or restocking fees. Do you know these people had on held on to that furniture for four months? <laughs> like we were sitting there just like, man, we don't have nowhere to put this furniture. We thought we were going to get a house. You know, we this, you know, and, and look, and this is what I'm saying. You can never be shaken. What I'm telling you is never allow yourself to be shaken. Mm, we thought it was happening when we first bought the furniture. We were actually in the process of escrow. Uh, we were actually in escrow, but then the Lord stopped it. And then, you know, the Lord stopped it. We had this furniture bought. You know, we had purchased this furniture. The Lord stopped that escrow. They kept our money. It was a financial hit, but we kept praising God. We kept praising God. See, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When the enemy knows that you are not easily broken, that you are not built like a $2 suit, that you don't come apart when somebody pulls at the hems of your garment, that you are mm, that you are made with that stuff, that you are not easily broken in God. When the enemy knows, glory oh, to God, your breakthrough is imminent. Mm, mm, mm. When the enemy knows we're in this new place, I'm just I'm just trying to keep from not from you know not in my car. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep it together for the neighbor's sake. Amen. But when you are not made like a two dollar cheap suit, amen. When you are not made by what when, when you are not made by that stuff, so every time the enemy tugs on your string, you fall apart. You got to know that God is faithful, and I'm here to tell you this today. For somebody, I'm here to tell you, it will be suddenly and it will be better. When God, whatever God has spoken to you, there's this, this is releasing. There's words that are releasing and this word is going to release somebody. Glory to God. This word is going to be another release for somebody. You see, because what the Lord showed me was 
in the series of words that he's been releasing through our ministry. It's happening. You're in the happening. And these things, the Lord says there has been, there's been groups of people that be, that are released into their blessing, into their promise with each word. And, and we were, we were not, mm, wow. And we were, we were part of that group where it's here that mm, 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 we were part of that group for, because in, in the, in the word it's here, it wasn't just us. It wasn't just us who was released in that word. There was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of people who were released in that word as well. Mm, 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 mm. But here, I'm here to tell you, there's a, there's a group of you who are being released today in the name of Jesus. The Lord says it will be suddenly mm, 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 and it will be better. The Lord says this, you will, mm, 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 mm. you will know what God is doing because he's going to guide you by his peace. Some people you have, you have put God in a box and said, okay, this is what I want and this is how it's going to be. But God says what you've been looking at is less than. It, it's it's different. It's not the space that he's. Mm, it's not the space that he's purposed for you. And there's some people who've been saying, "Okay, this will do for me." But God is not doing a this will do blessing. He's doing something that far exceeds. You see, when we got here, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow, this is what the Lord is saying to you. He says, "I am fulfilling Psalms one one twenty six in your ears." And let me tell you something. When we got here, we were like those who dreamed a dream. It took a couple of days to adjust to what God had, had done for us. It, it took a couple of days to adjust because of the, the speed of it, how it, how it was instantly, how it was right away, how the Lord said he was here and he was here and he did that thing. And the speed in which God made that move. Amen. And, and we and we were prepared for it as much as you can be prepared for not knowing, you know, right. As much, you know, not knowing exactly. Exactly, amen. But to be prepared for it, to have packed early, to have bought furniture four months ago and, and let it just sit there. You know, do you know the kind of the, the kind of whispers that, that the enemy would speak? Oh, y'all foolish for that. Y'all foolish for that. Y'all crazy. Y'all packed up. Y'all looking y'all looking dumb. Y'all looking crazy. Look at what y'all did. Y'all packed up y'all y'all whole little, you know, living spaces, y'all little living quarters that y'all was in, cramped into, right? Y'all packed that whole thing up. You went and bought all this furniture for a new house that you didn't get. And we just sitting here looking stupid with boxes packed, ready, ready for God to move for four months. But for four months, knowing that God was coming through, encouraging each other in what God has spoken. Right. And then and then after and, mm, and after our faith had reached the fever pitch and became that sweet aroma, the Lord says, I'm here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and literally, we had six days from Friday, from Friday, the word came to the next Friday. We were actually moving into our new place. Let me tell you something. In this time frame, you have to be wild. You have to be radical. You have to be crazy. You have to be resolute. You have to quit playing up and down, allowing yourself to be up and down, to allow yourself to be a, a food for the enemy who's going, who comes to try to devour you, who comes to try to, to try to uh, shake you up. You got to, you got to, you got to resolve the matter that if God said it, then God will do it, and there can be nothing. Else, not that you don't need, not that you won't need some encouragement, not you won't, not that you won't need somebody to say, "Hey, you man, I'm feeling a little down. Can you pray for me or touch and agree with me?" You know, not that we don't need that, Amen. Right? Not that we don't need that, but what it's about is, is this: you got to be willing to put your life on the line, Amen, because the enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy, and that's just the reality of it. That's just the reality of it. And what's amazing is, is this: you know. Uh, 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 it's one of those things to where, you know, people have a lot of things to say. Did God say that God don't do that? God this. But we here. <laughs> uh, 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 you see, mm, eh, mm, 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 there was a lot of prophets speaking about a lot of different things, saying what, what was going to be happening, what was going to be going on, and all these things. And, and, and there was a lot of people speaking. But the Lord says, you're going to know my prophets, number one, because what they say is going to come to pass. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you to rejoice in the Lord, to say, look at my God. Mm -hmm. Look at my God. You see, the whole time, the whole time, nobody knew that when we were, that when, when we were drive time and nobody knew the hell that was going on behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. 
Nobody knew the hell because because nobody knew the hell that was that what we were enduring. So they looked and they talking about you know and these you know you talk about you have some discernment. No, you 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 surmising right? Cynic, you surmising. Oh man, this brother got it all together. You don't know that we would that we were sitting here in 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 I mean just holding above water. You have no idea what we was going through. Amen. Right. You know, and what I'm saying is, is this, that God is faithful. I don't want to get too far because I want, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's expanding, you know? And so I'm still trying, I'm still settling into a, this mental space, you know, of being blessed. Right. You know, what, what are you going to do now? Right. What are you going to do now when you wake up one morning and realize, no, that you are blessed? When you wake up one morning and realize that you are sitting in the thing that God spoke to you, when you wake up and realize, you know what, I'm holding the very thing that God, that, that God, that God uh, 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 spoke to me. You see, because I'm, mm, 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 mm. what are you going to do when you, re mm, when you realize that the trial is a memory and now you have just stepped into a new arena in your life? You, and now you gotta, now you gotta, now you gotta figure out how how do, you, how do you walk around being blessed? See, it's one thing to know that you're blessed as, as you're being sustained or you're blessed as you're being kept. What, what, do you, what do you do, right? And amen, that you praise him. Because let me tell you something. I sat here and I said, okay, Lord, what do I have to do? Because it was the first night my wife and I were just sitting there and we were like, you, to adjust to it, the speed of it, you know, and, and we're here. You know, from being in someone's house saying, you know, taking your money, you know, eating your food and then hiding their food, using all your soap, then telling you you can't wash while you paying all the bills, you know, while you paying all the bills in their house, you know, right? Where you paying all the bills and then, right, like uh, there was so much stuff that happened that, that, I, that I might have to tell you on another time, you know, and things that things that were just breaking the heart, you know, breaking my wife's heart. And I said, I had to tell her one time, I said, baby, listen, let me tell you something. Stop being shaken by what they do. They took our food, let's buy them some more. Mm -hmm. They took our food, let's buy them some more food. Let's go right to the store and buy them some more food. Why? Because they gonna know today that we cannot be diminished. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. You cannot diminish what God has blessed. So guess what? They wanna steal our food, let's go buy them some more. Mm -hmm. they, they want us to pay, they want us to pay half the bill. We gonna pay the whole thing. Why? Because you can't diminish. You can't, we cannot be diminished. Why? Because the blessing of the Lord is upon us. So stop worrying about what they're doing. That's petty. We go every time, every time they try to, every time they try to, every time they try to sidewind and, and snake and sneak and do these things to them, to us, we gonna bless them. To let them know that he who is with me is greater than who he who is with you. That every time you try to do something evil to me, I'm gonna bless you to let you know that the God I serve is, is greater than the God you submitted to. The God of your flesh, the God of your, your, your reasoning, the God of your own mind. So every time I would take my whole paycheck and I'd buy the whole house food and say, eat up, eat up in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh, you want us to pay half the bill? We're going to pay it all. Why? Because you cannot diminish me. I'm held together by something greater than what you operate. What's operating in me is greater than what's operating in you, and we cannot be diminished. And so I told my wife, I said, listen, we're going to bless them every single time. They stole our potatoes. We're going to go buy them. <laughs> we're going to go buy them sacks of potatoes. <laughs> uh huh. Every time you try to meet me with a curse, I'm going to meet you with a blessing. Every time you try to diminish me, I'm going to let you know that he who is with me is greater than he who is operating in you. And you can't diminish what God has established. Amen. You can try your best. And what happened was, whoo, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. I just came on here to encourage somebody, you know, but it was been so, it's been so, uh, it's been just, you know, it's been so, uh, you know, such a release, you know, it's been such a, a, a time, a transition, you know, you know, I was going to do it a couple of days ago, but I'm sitting here still trying to, you know, I'm, I'm sitting here still, you know, listen, I'm, I, I, honestly, I'm sitting here still trying to uh, uh, wrap our head around what God has done, amen, and it's just the beginning, amen, it's just the beginning, right, you know, uh, um, and for somebody, it's going to be suddenly, you know, um, and, um, you know, we are grateful, you know, I, I say this is amazing because, you know, at the same time, you know, we are still grateful for, you know, for, uh, uh, for those people, you know, um, and, you know, it, it's amazing, you know, uh, the things that people take for granted is somebody else's blessing, 
you know, what you know, people are like, you know, hey, you know, you know, you believe in God. Like, listen, listen, it's we didn't even have our own place, man. You know, you know, we didn't even have our own place, right? You know, uh, and it's significant. You know, it's 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 uh, <laughs> it's 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 very important. You know, it's it's very important for you know uh, a man of God who values the the the, the atmosphere. You know, the, who values that 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 space that 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 the leading of the Holy Spirit having charge of your atmosphere, having charge of your home. You know, it's very important to be in a place where they don't cultivate that. You know, and these were these were people who said that they were believers. You know, but they were, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm not cursing them or condemning them. God bless them. You know, we are, we are grateful for them, but I'm just telling you that there comes a time, you know, that this is the year. Let me just say this and then I'm done. I'm just going to let you guys go that we're in. This is the year where what you're seeing, you know, a lot of the things that we talked about is actually happening on the world scene. Right. But this is the year, especially for you. You know, this is the year where, where God is going to do this. This is the year where God is doing a man to you what he's spoken. This is a year of promises fulfilled. This is the year of the remnant rising. This is the year of the of those who were led into the wilderness are coming out. Amen. This is what this is about. This is this is this is the time. This has been the year. It, this year is all this. All this whole year has been about you, you know has been about us, has been about you, amen. It's, it's been about you coming out, right? It's, it's been about you, amen. And, and what I'm here to tell you is, is for, for those of you who, who are receiving this word now, that your word of release is suddenly, and it'll be better, you know? If suddenly, it's gonna be suddenly for many of you, and it's going to be better than what you've expected, amen. And 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 it's very important that in this time frame that you know uh, uh, you're looking for God to speak to you in a way that he had that he used to, but he's going to speak to you differently. You know, he's going to speak to you. You're going to notice his his, his communication is going to be different, right? Because he's going to lead you by his peace. And so I and so I pray over you now in the name of Jesus, Father, that you shut every door that you don't want open. And that you open the doors that you do, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. Give your, your people the boldness, Father, to reach for the things that are beyond, Lord. To give them the confidence, Lord, to, to, mm, 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 to reach for the things that are beyond, Father. Let, mm, 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 let your peace guide them, Father, into the things, into the spaces, into the arenas, Lord, that you, that you purpose for them to be, Lord. And shut down everything that you do not desire, Father, for their lives in the name of Jesus, Father. You know, for those of them, for those who are who have been really looking to hear you in the, in the, in the way that they used to hear you, Father. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let them discover, as David did, how he said, you lead me by your still waters, by your peace. Peace is a peace. Let me tell you something, guys. Um, God speaks audibly, but one of his greatest levels of communication uh, that, that it's, a, it's an honor to have to, to, to get to discover is how he leads you by his peace. Amen. That is the, the peace of God is, is a, is a, a mm, 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 mm. ask David, David will tell you the peace of God is, is, is one of the most amazing, uh, 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 ways of communication. Amen. Right. And so God will lead you by his peace. And so when you're looking for God to speak the way he used to, right, you know, what you're going to find for many of you in this new season, God is going to lead you by his peace. And what that does, the reason why it's the reason why he does that is because when God is bringing you into a, a near, a, a um, a, a closeness to him, a, a deeper level of intimacy, then it's not going to always be, hey, 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 he's not going to always have to yell at you. He's not, he doesn't want to always have to yell at you. Sometimes he just wants to open his heart and for you to know what's on his heart, for you to feel him. The same way, you know, when you, you know, for those of you who are uh, in marriages and you have, you know, your significant other and you can tell when they walk in a room, whether they're happy, whether they say, you, without them saying a word, you just know what's on their heart. And that, and that's being led, you know, that's, that, that, that demonstrates a level of intimacy, amen? And so what the Lord is going to do for many of you, you know, he may speak to you differently. Sometimes he's, for some of you, he's just going to open a door. And for some of you, you got to get ready to get up and move. You got to get ready to get up and move. You got to get ready to get up and walk, get up and walk. If it's, if it's here, for you get up and move right and don't me and my wife we got up and moved for four months ago and it, and, and and it wasn't necessarily our time we were in the time frame but our particular release time hadn't come so we were moving you know we were moving then because the lord said move and he was and, and that was still part of our faith to prep us go buy that furniture okay we did right Okay, and we sit there looking crazy, and then, you know, and then, you know, uh, pack up your stuff, and we sit there looking like, okay, well, you know, right? But then, why? Because we were prepared for the suddenly. When the suddenly hit, we were ready to move, and in six days, we, we went from 
being in one place to another place. Amen. So God bless you all. Love you all. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, amen. You have no resources, but you believe in faith. God is going to show up for you, sis. God is going to show up for you. God is going to show up for you. And my word for you, t for you, sis, is you got to consider it done. You're not waiting for God to do something. You got to know that it's done. Hey, wow. That's the word for you. The Lord is telling you, you got to consider it done. You got to consider it done. You got to consider it done. Listen, get out of the place of God is going to do. We serve, we, we, we serve a God who does that, who does. Mm, 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 mm. We serve a God who performs the end from the beginning. It's already done. And you have to, when you switch your mindset to it's done, that's already done, it's already, then what's going to happen is you're going to open yourself up for the resources, resources to flow into you. And I got to say something. Uh, hold on, give me one second. Give me one second, good people. I'm going to blow my nose. I got a little excited there. Let's. So look, I want to say this real quick. Um, somebody had uh, asked a question. I don't know what, I feel like I just needed to answer this for somebody to help you guys out. Somebody, uh, 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 he will show the way. He absolutely will. But I, I got to say this for somebody. I don't know who this is for. But somebody had asked a question about, um, uh, you know, uh, imagining and doing these things and, you know, about the secret and all kinds of this crazy new age stuff. And, I, I, and what's amazing is, is this. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> they, the, the reason why the secret is dangerous and why the secret, all that stuff is garbage is this. Is because they're stealing things by through their imagination, by, you know, they're trying to work right. Why? Because all the blessings of God are yes and amen. So they try to tap into what is already yes for you. Right. They're trying to it's like they're trying to hop the fence and take what they're not what, what they don't have a covenant right to. You see, mm, mm, mm. the reason why you can the reason why you can grab open up the Bible and, and, and find a blessing and receive it for yourself is because you've been born again. You have a right to the kingdom. You have a right. You have a right to the blessings. Amen. <laughs> you right. Right. You have a right to the blessing. But what happens is the people who are outside of God who says, I won't follow God. I don't believe in God. I don't do this and that and the other. I have nothing to do. Right. But I'm going to like imagine, you know, and try to make these things come to pass. And then, and then it happens for some of them. Some of them are able to do it. He's like, well, how are they able to do that stuff? How are they able to enter into all that crazy stuff? Right. Because the blessings of the, the yeah, that law of attraction crap. Right. That law of attraction. Right. You know, and it's no different than what you read in, in Genesis 11. Right. You know, Genesis 11, the Lord says, look, you know, uh, and it's, it, it's 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 just the truth. You know, in Genesis 11, you know, they were building the Tower of Babel. The Lord said, let's go see what they up to. So he went down there and he's like, man, OK, they're they were innocent. They had uh, unity of speech. You know, yeah, all that occultic stuff. Right. They were had unity of speech. They spoke the same way and they thought the same way. And the Lord said this. He said, look, he said, now nothing that they've imagined will be restrained from them. Let us confuse their speech so they can no longer come into agreement or else they will be able to do. And that just goes to show you and see that becomes those things that they know. Right. These becomes those those part of those crazy teachings. But the difference between us is is that we have a right to it. Amen. We have a right to it. Amen. You have a right to whatever God has spoken to you. It is rightfully yours. You are a joint heir. You are an heir with Christ. So every, every promise and every good thing that God has purpose for his children, you have a right to. So you don't have to go and get it. See, and so, and so for you to say, daddy, I want this or daddy, I'm asking you for this. Amen. If it's in his will, if it's in his will, it will be 
in your life. And some people say, well, you know, they, they're scared to believe God for good things. Why? Because they don't want to be like this crazy stuff out here, this occultic stuff. But let me tell you something. The difference is, is you have a right to. You are a joint heir and all the blessings of God are yes and amen. So you don't have to fear. You don't have to walk. You, and it's crazy, you know, <laughs> And it's trip, it's trip God's people up, you know, throughout history. You know, they'd be going to witches, they'd be going to all these places, and the Lord be like, "What? Why would you go there for this? Have I not blessed you? If you had not, just like He told David, David, if you hadn't, listen, David, He said, look at all I've done for you, man. If you had not asked me, would I have not given you even more than what I've given you? But sometimes we don't know the value of God's goodness and the value of God's love. Amen. We don't know it. Right. And so we 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 uh, we we constantly looking outside and, you know, and then and not only not only are we looking outside for, you know, for to think that, you know, we want to get the resources that the world has because the world is coming by. You know, they, the world is coming into it through a different medium or a different way. You know, it's like, OK, I got to get it like the world get it. No, you get it through the word, amen. You get it through faith. You get it through trusting God. You get it through knowing God is good. You get it through you get it through your inheritance. You get it through your right as a child of the living most high God, amen. That if we being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more do you think God wants you sitting there suffering in sickness and all these things? If he says it in his word, then it's something that he wants you to have in your life. But my people perish. For lack of knowledge, people don't really believe God is good. And if they believe God is good, they don't believe God is able, right? You know, and if they don't believe, you know, they don't believe God will, you know. So, you know, so it's, it's a lot of things that people have to overcome in their mindset, right? You know, to, to see the blessing. Because the, the, the only difference that we have is it all comes through faith. Jesus walked, Jesus walked the town. There were some people where he would heal all. There were some people where he couldn't heal at all. Heal at all. Amen. Why? It's like because they didn't believe. You know, and like I tell you guys all the time, don't think you're gonna make this transition without faith. This is reality. You're gonna have to look. You're gonna have. You're gonna have to believe something. Amen. You're gonna have to believe. You know. You know. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to say. You know what? Nah. This is what God says, and this is what's going on, and this is what's gonna happen. Amen. Right. You know. And you have to be resolute in that. You know. And I'm here to tell you that it's gonna be suddenly. It's gonna be suddenly. And it's going to be better than you ex ever expected. And God will not fail you. Amen. God will not fail you. God will not fail you. Amen. Do you have to go to courts in heaven? No. <laughs> no, you don't have to. No, 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 no. You don't have to. Listen, in the courts of heaven, you have, in the courts of heaven, you don't, you, you don't have a voice. Because the only person, the only people who had a voice in the courts of heaven are, is the prosecutor, the judge, and the defendant. So when the enemy stood accusing you day and night, he stood accusing you to God justly. Look how evil they are. Look how this they are. Look how this, you know. But then Jesus came and said, I'm going to take their price. I'm going to take their place. He's, once he sprinkled that blood, it shut the mouth of the accuser. So now, so, so you don't have to go into the courts of heaven to do anything. What you do is you go and say, hey, look, this is on the books. You, you, what you do is go to the throne of grace and say, look, Father, this is on the books. Books. Jesus' blood died for me to have this. Jesus' blood. Jesus' blood was shed for me to have peace. Jesus' blood was shed. Amen. So you go. So you go to the throne room. You, you, you. Right. So you, you're no longer on trial. Amen. You're no, no longer on trial from that sense. So you don't have to go to the, to, to the courts of heaven because. You don't you don't have what it takes to be able to there's you can't defend yourself. What you gonna defend yourself? Have you ever sinned? Have you ever told a lie? Then how are you gonna go to go to the courts of heaven with what? What what you gonna do? Right? You don't have a right. So you what you gonna go through the courts of heaven and do? The only thing you can go to the courts of heaven and do is be a plaintiff. <laughs> I mean not, not a plaintiff, but to be a a, a, a defendant, right? <laughs> you know, and be like, okay, you know, I'm on trial. <laughs> Right. So I got to go to the courts of heaven. But what you can do, but what you do, but what you do go to is you go to your father. You don't have to go to the courts of heaven. Jesus, Jesus is the one who, who's your, your public defender who adjudicated you before the father. Amen. So what you do go is you go to your father and say, Lord, remember what you said. 
Lord, this is what you said. Remember your word over me, Father. You know, and you bring God into remembrance of what he spoke over you, amen? You bring God into, Lord, you said this. This is what you declared over my life, Lord, and I thank you that you are a faithful God, and you remind him of how righteous he is and how faithful he is and that none of his words fall to the ground, amen? Right, you know, and, and that's what you do, and then you go through the, it, it is written, Lord, you spoke this and you said that, so that's what you do, so that's what you do, you know, but as far as going to the courts of heaven, stop it. You know, you guys, that's silly. You know, what you going to do? You don't have a voice. Only the, only the blood of Jesus has a voice. Amen. You know, I know some people, I've heard that, that doctrine, I'm going to go to the courts of heaven and I'm going to, you won't do nothing. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't sway anything. The blood of Jesus did, right? You know, the blood of Jesus did. And that's what you go. You go with that confidence in the blood, Lord, because of Jesus. I'm a joint heir, right? So, so uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm deserving of what His blood, uh, what His blood earned and established for me. It established righteousness. It est established salvation. It established relationship. You know, we are brought back into relationship with God. It established relationship. So, so the Bible says that, you know, we've been brought into harmony. Do you know what harmony sounds like? You know, that, that, that we're no longer clashing and we're not, I'm not out of key with God. I'm brought back into harmony with God. You know, that's what the blood of Jesus did, you know, and it did a lot of things. And those are the things that we have a right to, amen. We have a right to what the, what the blood of Jesus established, established for us, amen. So, you know, he brought you and he made you a son. He made you what you were. He made you exactly what he was. The, the, uh, the only begotten of the father, the beloved son, the beloved daughter, that's what his blood did for you. So now you can go and say, hey, father, hey, daddy, you know, you know, some people like, oh, I, I, they, they cringe, but that's my dad, you know, and, and, you know, and, and, and part of the walk is like, well, why does my daddy, you know, take me through the things that he's, that he, that he's going, that I had to go through. Because at the end of the day, the, the father is trying to cultivate you. He's trying to transform you into his son, the image of his son. Amen. Right. So my dad is always my dad is responsible for my growth. And so he sometimes he'll orchestrate situations to to ensure that I'm growing. Amen. You know, to, to ensure that I'm growing, that I have the love that I need, that I have the sufficient challenges that I need also to be strong. Amen. You know, was it was it unfair? Do you think God was cruel when he sent when he when he allowed that wolf? I mean, that excuse me, that lion and that bear to to uh, 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 to come against da young David, little David boy. But listen. It was necessary because that was because without the lion and the bear, there would have been no Goliath. And and, and the lion and the bear was sufficient was necessary for, for David to understand who was with him. And sometimes, you know, we, we, we overreact to our to our difficulties, but you but we don't understand that sometimes our difficulties are necessary to reveal to us who's with us, you know, to build to, to reveal to us just how significant it is for us to for God to be with us. Amen, you know, and, and so you know, that's uh, um, it's kind of what I want to say to just to answer that question there. You know, I mean, my, I mean, you know, we're in our new spots, in our new place, man. You know, and God is amazing, you know, and God is. And, and I'm here to tell you that for those of you who 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 um, who are believing, you know, who are believing, you know, who are believing God for what he spoke to you. Right. You know, who are believing God for what he spoke to you, you know, and listen, um, for those of you in relationships and marriages where people are gone and they're with other people and all stuff like that, the, the one thing, the one thing that you have to uh, be mindful of is you, you, you can't make an idol, right? You can't make an idol out of the things that you want. You know, it's, it's, it's easier for God to bring a thing than it is for him to bring a person because you know, he has to work through their own free will. Amen. And not that he can't. But what happens is, you know, when you when you stress the atmosphere, you got to be careful not to stress your atmosphere. You got to be able to let go. You know, you got to be able to let go of what you want God to bring through. Amen. You got to be able to show that, Lord, what I'm believing you for is not an idol unto me. You know, that it's not something that I'm worshiping. You said it. I'll believe you for it and I'll let it go. Right. But, you know, you, you, you storming every, you know, everybody's live every day talking about my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, you know, like for like months, you know, please pray, please. Like, why would you get everybody in unbelief? If God told you he's going to store, restore your marriage then you don't need to get a, a, a thousand people in unbelief for you. You, you need to believe, amen. You need to believe that God is bringing your husband and you need to let him go. You need to let him go and say, Lord, I trust you. 
I trust you, Amen. But to get every, but but to get everybody is to say that it's, it is it's to say that God didn't speak to you. And now what's happening is, is you 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 bringing everybody into to this thing where you you're making an idol out of the one that you're missing. But you got to be able to let him go. Say, okay, Lord, I give you to him because what will happen is as long as long as long as especially if he's under a, a bout of witchcraft, what what will happen is as long as the enemy. There's some people. Who, wow. Wow. OK, I'm going to say this and I'm done. There are some people who there are some people who keep other people in bondage by their worship, uh, by their by by them idolizing. And what I mean by that is this. If the enemy is fighting them to get to you, then the way to save them is to let them go. Give them to God. Put them in the Lord's hand, because what will happen is you will re when the enemy finds out that he can't get to you through them, then he leaves them alone. Amen. You know, he leaves them alone. And that's not you giving up on your marriage. That's not you giving up on. That's you just believing that, you know what, Lord, I trust what you're saying. That, Lord, I trust what you're doing. So I'm going to let it go. You know, you said it, Lord. Then that becomes your thing to do. It becomes your thing to bring it to pass in my life. You know, so it's not you. You know, you don't have to get up every day, you know, you know, and, and tell everybody on, on every live to, to bring to help pray for your husband. That ain't going to get it done. Why? Because God has already spoken to you about it. Amen. God has already spoken to you. And what will happen is you get you're going you're gonna to get everybody else in unbelief, you know, praying for God to do something where God has already rendered a verdict on it. The problem is, is that you're not in faith. Amen. You, you're not in faith. So if you were in faith, you would say, well, God has spoken and this is what I'm believing God for. Amen. So you understand what I'm saying? So what you have to do is you have to let it go and not allow that thing to become an idol unto you. You don't you don't want anything to become an idol. And, 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 and if you can't maneuver if you can't if you can't if you can't shift your focus off of that thing if you can't shift your focus off of him then then you are in a form of a, a, a form of you are in your own form of of, of of uh what's the word i'm looking for you are you you are in your own form of bondage amen right God has got to be enough. And once you tell the Lord, you know what, Lord, you know my desire, you know what my heart is, Lord, you know I desire for my marriage to be restored, you know I desire for my marriage to be whole before you, Father, you know, because that's a good, and think about this, that's a godly desire, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but you got to be able to say, you know what, Lord, even if he don't come back, I got you. You, you got to be able to say, I'm not diminished. You got to be able to say, listen, this man can't diminish me. This woman can't diminish me because as long as I got you, I have everything. And once the devil know that you cannot be diminished, amen, even by the thing that you're believing God for, amen. You know, because if, if, if it was your way, you would be together. If it was up to you, you'd be together. But you're dealing with somebody who has a, who has who has to make a choice himself. Right. And so what will happen is, 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 is as long as as long as you're you're pressing and you're stressing the atmosphere, those become those become that becomes food for the enemy to, to, to constantly to constantly stay on your neck and stay on your head and really to stay on him. Especially if, if, if he says, listen, especially if his goal is to get to you, the enemy is always after the one closest to God. Oh, you don't hear me. Okay. Okay. Y'all don't. <laughs> the enemy is always after the one closest to God. And clearly, and clearly you're closer to God because you still there believing for a marriage because it's godly. And this man went off and, and, and moved on with Jezebel. So clearly he's not as close to God as you. And the enemy is always looking for the one who is closest to God. He don't really care about those who are on the fringe because he know that they, he knows he knows that they're not faithful. But the faithful, the ones who are the ones who are close to God, you're always dangerous. And he always wants to get you and he gets it and he tries to get to you by what you're holding in your hands. He's like, what's important to you? And you'd be like, oh, look at devil. This is so important to me. I can't live without it. Look at And he's like, oh, OK, you can't live without that. Well, let me let me touch that thing. Let me touch that. Let me let me keep poking it. Let me keep, you know, let me keep it. You like, oh, I can't. But as soon as you be like, here you go. And you tell that devil, devil, you can't diminish me. Why? Because you can't stop what God has said and you can't stop what God, you can't stop what God is doing. Right. You know, you got to, you know, it's, it's, we have to learn how to rule and reign. And we rule and reign, we rule and reign by prioritizing everything in this life. If everything in this life is subject to the wind, 
If everything in life is subject to a vapor, you know, it's, it's here one moment, it's gone the next, right? Then you got to make sure that your, that your life is hinging on the eternal, you know? Hinging on the eternal. Like, okay, yeah, you go through all that stuff, you finally get your husband back, you finally get your husband back, and then, you know... Hear the Lord pop out of the sky. You've wasted all those years stressing the atmosphere and Jesus returned and it don't mean nothing. So you got to make sure you know what's important to you. My, my life can't be smart. Listen, let me tell you this. My life can't be subject to anything that's subject to perishing. My life has got to be built on something more eternal. And while I might miss you, while I might grieve for you, while I will, you know, while I will, uh, 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 mm, my heart will be heartbroken for you, right? I, I can't, I can't come undone for nothing that is subject to, uh, to the passing away. Meaning, meaning, if 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 somebody chooses to leave, you know, I'm I'm talking about in that in that capacity. Not family members passing away just throughout time and stuff like that. And we don't miss and we don't mourn and we don't. I'm not talking about anything like that. But I'm talking about somebody wake up and say, you know, I made a decision about my life. I choose to leave. I was like, man, I'm going to really miss you. <laughs> that sounds crazy, huh? <laughs> I'm going to really miss you. I love you. Please don't go. Please don't go. Please stay. No, nah, I'm going to miss, you know, okay, well, you know, I don't want you to go. That's not my choice. You know, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to shed some tears, you know, but listen, I can't come undone. You know, I can't come, I can't, I can't, I can't lose my focus. And I'm not saying not that I won't have real, like, oh Lord, you know, but you know, my real prize, my real prize is that eternal, right? Is that thing that's eternal, you know? And we come undone for the foolishness from, from, and not that marriage is foolish. Don't give me none, not enough, but I'm talking about people come undone. You know, I lost my car. Now I don't believe in God no more. I'm mad at God because I lost my car. And I'd be like, what? 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 You know, my car got repossessed. So, you know, I'm just mad at God. Okay, you need to grow up, okay, immediately. <laughs> Yeah, you need to you need to grow up immediately. Not that you don't need a car, you know, but what I'm saying is, you know, you can't you can't let that thing that's subject to the perishing, you know, uh uh be something that takes you out of your, God you you've got to make God your I'm just saying well for me I'm just saying that he is a priority, amen. You know, you know, he is, you know. And what you'll find is anything that anything that you give up for God, he will replace, guaranteed. You know, but we got to stop making idols out of all these things and thinking that is God. You know, oh, I'm, I, you know, I, I'm idolizing this and that's God. No, nope. you know, no, because God will give it to you. Don't, don't, God will give it to you. God will restore it. Amen. You know, but it's just important for us to not to make be making idol, you know, out of things. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and I, <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm, I'm <laughs> and I'm not trying to be coarse or anything like that. Obviously, you know, I lay down my life for my family. You know, I, you know, we go to war. We go to war for what's real. You know what I'm saying? You know, I will lay it down, you know, <laughs> you know, but what I'm saying is when it comes to choices, you know, that's love. You know, look, you know, people always, you know, people have always struggled with this, with this, with this concept of, you know, why did uh, the Lord put uh, uh, the tree of knowledge of the tree of death, the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the garden? And it's, it was, it's like it's difficult for a lot of people to understand that because it's like, you know what? If the Lord didn't put that there, then, you know, we would never have none of these problems. I said, well, the Lord had to put it there, you know, because of love, you know. Without without truth, there is no love. Without choice, there is no love, you know. And he didn't want them to eat it. He said, listen, man, you eat that tree, you're going to die. Not because I want you dead, you know. There's a, there's a whole tree. There's a whole tree of life that you could freely eat from, amen, you know. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, he said, you eat of that tree, you're going to die, man. But the tree had to, the, But the tree had to be there. Because without choice, there is no love, you know, and, 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 and if we don't have a choice to love, you know, if we don't have a choice to love, then we're not in love at all. Right. You know, and, and, and so, you know, um, you know, and, and yeah, temptation, but it, it really, you know, it really wasn't, it really wasn't so much about temptation, right? Because they were never tempted. And what I mean by that is they were never tempted by the tree itself. Because they were satisfied in a relationship. They weren't tempted until the enemy spoke. The enemy never spoke and they were satisfied. Why? Because God was enough. 
the God was enough. The blessing was enough. What God had did for them was enough. Their, their, their wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Their, 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 um, mm, 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 their, 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 uh, 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 their place of governing was enough. Their, their mantle. It was enough. The God said, "Don't do it." They were like, "Okay, cool. Why? Because what you what you've established is enough for us, right?" You know, but it took the enemy to speak. It wasn't like they were in there wrestling with that, you know, with that tree. Like, man, I really wanted that thing. I really want to touch that thing, man. You know, I really want to, you know, I really wonder how to live. They didn't even, they didn't even consider it, right? They didn't even consider it, you know. But the, the only reason the Lord put it there was for because of for, 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 for love, you know. There has to be a choice, you know. Life and death I put before you day, every day, every day we got a choice, man. You know, and what somebody does with their choice, you can't be bound by it, you know. You know, you don't allow yourself to come under bondage of what somebody else, what, what, of another's choice. Because while they choose in death, guess what? You still have a response. Wow. You still have a responsibility to choose life. Oh, boy. Lord, Lord, they, Lord, they choose it. They choose in death over here, Lord. Yeah, that, you know. And I'll pray for them, you know. Lord, please help them, Lord. Intervene, move. I will. Why? Because I got influence with the Lord. But at the end of the day, what are you going to choose? You know? You know? I'm blessed. Thank you. You know, at the end of the day, you still got an obligation to choose life. Right? You know? And so, so that's just what I wanted to say. You know, love is, love is, you know, without, without choice, there is no love. You know, so that's the greatest for, you know, it's like, and he chose to leave. You know, it's like, okay, look, I don't want you to, you know, but you chose that, you know, you chose that, you know, I choose life, you know, you know, life is still available for you every day, every day, the Lord is still here available for you to fill your life, you know, to, you know, the enemy wants to convince you that you're missing out because your husband left and, you know, all those things, but the Lord is here to fill you to, to overflowing, amen, you know, all right, sis, blessings to you, yeah, Yes, yes. So, so that's just what I wanted to say. You know, um, I know we kind of shifted on to some other things, but uh, um, it's a long live, sixty minutes. Wow. <laughs> oh man, you know. So uh, anyway, suddenly, God is faithful. God is doing it, and it's gonna be better than you can imagine. Blessings, London. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be better than you can imagine. Cause we obviously with this, with this miracle that the Lord did, which is a miracle, which is a blessing. You know, you know, it just, just show you that how faithful God is. Amen. How faithful God is. I'm here to tell you that there is no one who God has spoken to, who, who got, who you are believing God uh, for to come out of your trend wilderness to come out. There is no one. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm living proof, man. I'm living proof. You guys, I'm living proof, man. I'm here to tell you, you know, I'm here to tell you that God will do it. Thank, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm here to tell this is this is what I got to say you, say to you. I got to say this to somebody. The Lord says there is no question about it. Amen. There is no question about what God is doing for you. And that's my word for you guys today. God bless you all. I love you all. There is no question about it. It's not even up for debate. It's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a question of whether or not God is going to do it. God is going, it is not even a question. It will be done. And that's my word for you guys today. God bless you all. Love you all. Talk to you soon.